All this work that we're doing, brothers, for this ministry, eventually is going to pay off. You better believe it, man. It's going to pay off like you'll never believe. Okay? And by the way, we're the highest value male on this planet. The men of the Lord. The men of this truth. The hopeful elect of Yahweh Barshim Shai. The highest value male there is. Yo, it is this kind of comments right here that causes us to continue to preach the gospel, the true gospel of Yeshua, Jesus Christ. My brother, you were once enemy to Christ. And yet on the cross, he says, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Christ says it best. If you cannot forgive your heavenly father will not forgive you this is why we call these so-called hebrew israelites to leave the camp because of this mentality right here you do <clears throat> shalom first and foremost i would like to give all praise and glory unto yahweh baha shem yahweh shah baha shem kakwadash Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutation of the hopeful that got there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh by Shema Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful that the believers, the listeners who may have came back so like it to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh by Shema Shah. And um, what I want to get, get into is respond. All right, to a lesson done by Elder Manata Zagba out of GMS South Carolina. All right, his channel is GMS South Carolina 08. All right, subscribe and be edified. Um, yeah, so basically, what you have, you know, this Christian, all right, 2023, you know, still speaking about forgiveness. And as I'm listening to this video, you know, the spirit just like on me, you know, the spirit just like saying, like, Christianity has the doctrine of Christianity has created a forever slave. You know, Esau and his plantation Christianity has created a forever slave. You know, because if all the conclusion Jake can come up with in 2023 is forgiveness, when you go into the Bible and all you come to the conclusion is forgiveness, okay? Which that's in the scriptures, but there's, there's, there's a context with it. <laughs> okay? Well, Christianity has told you just forgive everything. And mainly speaking about forgiving Esau, Edom. Okay? That's what it boils down to. All right? And through Christianity, Esau has created a forever slave, man. And that's why the Lord, all right, just has to reset, <laughs> okay, the earth. All right? Esau has to remove, be removed from power. Two thirds of our people, okay, they have to die on this side, okay, because they have their forever slave mentality, man. Okay, and Christianity played a major part in confusing the hell out of our people, man. You know, and we came up in that confusion, man. <laughs> okay, and, and, and their Christianity doctrine, all right, has prepped the masses, okay, of our people for this new world order. Okay, so let's get some precepts. <laughs> oh boy. All right, this is Isaiah 29 and 9. It says, stay yourselves in wonder. Okay, and that's our people in the state of confusion. You know, been going to church for, for hundreds of years. Okay, been Christians for, 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 for centuries. And don't have a clue of what the Bible is talking about, man. Okay? It says, cry you out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. And what we're seeing is our people still staggering off of Christianity, man. Okay? They're still out of it. Okay? Like, this devil has done so much wickedness. is doing... Wickedness, wickedness currently and is planning on doing all this wickedness and Jake go into the Bible and the only thing he can come to the conclusion is forgiveness man <laughs> okay there, 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 there's a whole narrative 
Okay, when you go into the Bible, dealing with Jacob and Esau, okay, and when you go into those two, <laughs> those two characters of the Bible, okay, which will become two nations of people, all right, they will be in conflict in the earth. And Christianity just disregards 99% of the narrative of the Bible. Okay? And, the, and Christianity is, a, is an ideology. It has nothing to do with the Bible. Okay? Forgiving Esau Edom has nothing to do with the Bible, man. <laughs> you see? And we're going we're gonna to prove it. It says, For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep okay and i and, and, and christianity you know has played a major part in putting our people in the deep sleep man okay because you got jake in the world all right even you know the coming jake you know that's the, 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 not you know engulfed in the christian church you know they kind of see you know this devil you know some may right okay they they kind of peep things okay but a Christian, a so-called black Christian in 2023 is the most lost person on the planet Earth. Okay? Every other religion has 20 times more awareness than a so-called black Christian, man. Okay? Christ Christians are the only people. All right? You see on the, the, the Bluetooth with the <laughs> with the wires. He's the only one left with, 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 with Bluetooth with wires on it. Talking about forgiveness, man. Lost, man. Through. Okay? Look at this nigga, man. Okay? The, the, the Bluetooth. Okay? With the wires on it. Talking about forgiveness, man. Just completely lost. Behind as hell. <laughs> okay? So let's keep reading, man. Okay? It says... Uh, it says, For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. And have closed your, closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, have he covered. Yeah. So every in, when you go into Christianity, okay, all the, the, the teachers and, and, and you know the preachers and pastors of Christianity, Geno, Genus, apostles, they're lost. Okay, their eyes are shut when it comes to spiritual matters, man. When it comes to prophecy, man. When it comes from the intent of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. And see, as uh, me and the brother did a lesson, me and the brother um, Yeramia, the spirit has do a lesson a day speaking about, you know, the king's secrets. Okay, being in the courts of the king. Okay, <laughs> but you have, <clears throat> all right, uh, 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 our people, they're not in those courts, and they're not hearing the report that's coming from the king's court. Okay. They, 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 they've been they, their eyes been darkened their understanding has been darkened man all right and this and this is a deep sleep man okay verse 11 says in the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed which men deliver to one that is learned saying read this i pray thee and he saith, i cannot for it is sealed yeah so you can go to the so-called pastors that went to these theolo theological uh, 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 seminaries uh, uh, as apostle <laughs> elder apostle to heart says theological cemeteries okay because they put you to death spiritually man okay and completely pervert the understanding of the scriptures all right but you you can go to one of these pastors and ask them particular questions and they'll tell you a seal they tell you well we don't know that yet okay here it is, we in the time of prophecy being fulfilled, and the best answer they'll give you is we don't know that yet. All right? Because you keep reading, it says, and it says, and the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he say, I am not learned. Yeah, that's the rest of the congregation. So here it is, the, the, the learned. All right, all these doctors and scholars, okay? So called scholars. You know, especially black scholars, because you have, you know, Edomite scholars, they go into things, man. Okay, and even these Edomites that be truthers, you know, they, they do try to connect what's going on with the Bible real time. Okay, they, they, they go off, they be off on things, but they will try to make some connection. 
Okay, a nigga is just still talking about forgiveness, man. That's a deep sleep. That's that's someone that's, that's dead drunk, man. <laughs> okay? But they entrust this one man, okay, to teach them the Bible. He doesn't know what the hell going on. You ask them, and they say, well, I'm not qualified. I'm not, I didn't, I didn't go, you know, Jacob say that. I ain't go, I ain't go to the, theological school. I ain't, you know, I can't go into that. You know, that pastor can't need Nobody can go into it, man. <laughs> All right. It, it's just the blind leading the blind. Okay. Verse 13 said, well, for the Lord said, for as much as, as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart, which is their mind far from me. See, the mind of a Christian is so far removed from the reality of the Bible, you know, that it's just ridiculous now, man. Okay, it's, it's it's just so much going on, and for this man to pop up and say forgiveness, <laughs> you know, forgiveness. This man is 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 is, is being revealed as a, as a satanist, okay, as a, as a, as, a, as pedo, as you know, anti messiah. You know that you know, saying look, that Jesus is fake news, and and eat, and all a nigga can think about is forgiveness, man. Okay, he done put he's he you know the, the mass deaths you know from the Jews like and it, it's like you know no matter what Esau Elam does a nigga always has forgiveness man, but that goes into Christianity man the forever slave man, you Christians are forever slaves man. Okay, you would you 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 would never come out of that stupor and you would teach that same mentality to your children and that's what the devil wanted. That was, that's why it's called plantation Christianity, man. It keeps you in that plantation mindset, man. <laughs> okay? So the, the, the minds of, 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 of the, the majority of our people are so far removed, okay, from, all right, the intent, okay, that Yahweh Bashim al Shah has for his people, what he has for the earth, his intentions for the earth. The, 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 our people's mind is just so far removed, man. Okay, that's why it says, we read again, Isaiah 29, 13, said, Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me. So they sing, dance, okay, you know, they, they put on this big show, all this theatrics. Okay, but when it comes, when you go into the scriptures and go into the intent of your how about Shema Shai, it's foreign to a Christian. It's offensive to a Christian. Christians are offended at the Bible, man. Christians really hate the Bible. When you really go into the scriptures, man, if you're not talking about forgiving the so-called white man, <laughs> Jake don't want to hear it, man. A, a, a black Christian, man, so-called black Christian. Okay. And you know, I say you, 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 you so called black Christians, Democrats, all right, are, are the most lost people on earth, man. <laughs> okay, because I say that the people that that, 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 are, that are Christians are these Edomite Trump supporters, you know, and then they, now they try to connect. Now they can, they, they will make an attempt to condemn the world via the Bible, them, them, them Trump, okay, them, uh, 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 uh with some of them could be Jake. But them Trump supporting <laughs> Republican Edomite Christians, they will <laughs> try to go in the Bible and condemn, you know, the world, man. But a nigga Christian would not do that, man. You know? They 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 would not put two and two together. Alright, so keep reading it says, um, and their fear toward me is taught by the precepts of men. So the reverence that our people have for the Heavenly Father is taught by precepts of men. A man, a man-made doctrine is not divinely inspired, and it doesn't match up with the scriptures, man. Okay, that's why your pastor, the pastor, told us to celebrate Christians, man. The Lord said He hates those things, man. Okay, the the the, the pastor is telling us to go vote, man. The Lord is against this place. The Lord finna destroy this place, man. Okay. So the understanding that our people have with the Bible, which is close to none, 
all right, is, is taught by these fabricated doctrines meant to make make our people forever slaves, man. And, it, and it's doing a hell of a job. <laughs> okay, it's doing a hell of a job, man. All right, so let's go from there, man. All right, because he, he, he talked about the Messiah, okay, saying forgive them for they know not what they do. Well, you have to understand, you can't just read and not know what's going on at that was what was going on at that time. Okay, you had uh, some of our people that gave Yahweh over to the Romans, okay, to be crucified. All right, and those same people, okay, some of those same Israelites, not all of them, will eventually believe on Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Shai, all right, he he still he prayed for mercy for those that was in their ignorance, man, but would eventually begin to follow him, man, as the apostles went out to teach. So their forgiveness was for the, for those Israelites that would eventually come into the uh, 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 a truth. Okay, let's get that in the book of Acts real quick, man. All right. Let's say it's Acts. All right. This is um Acts 2 and 20, 21. It says, and this shall come to pass. Now, this is the apostle Peter speaking. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And the Krishna read that and open up salvation for everyone. You know, make this a, a universal doctrine. No, you got to keep reading. You have to understand what's going on. This is this is a book of, of records. This is history that actually happened. But Christians don't read the Bible like that. Okay. Christians are content with being a forever slave. All right, and that's why they constantly want to forgive their master because they want this current situation to go on. Okay, it says, ye men of Israel. So who is he speaking to? Okay, Yahweh Shah of Nazareth. <laughs> Say, all right, it says, ye men of Israel, hear these words. Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, a man approved of the Most High among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which the Most High did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves know, him being delivered by the determinate counsel, okay, and foreknowledge of the Most High, you have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain, whom the Most High have raised up having loosed the pains of death because it was not possible that he should be holding of it for speaking uh, for David speaking concerning him. I foresaw the Lord always before my face for he is on my right hand that I should not be moved. Therefore did my heart rejoice and my tongue was glad. Moreover, all my flesh shall rest in hope because thou would not leave my soul in hell. Neither would thou suffer Thine holy one to see corruption, and that's your Howard Shai. He wouldn't stay in the grave, he will eventually be raised. Okay, and it says, Because thou would not, uh, verse 18, it says, Thou hast made known to me the ways of life, thou shalt make my joy. All right, thou shalt make me full of joy with thy countenance, men and brethren. Let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David, that he is both dead and is buried. And his uh, sepulchre is with us to this day. Therefore, being a prophet and knowing that the Most High have sworn um, with an oath to him that of the fruits of his loins, according to the flesh, he will raise up Yahweh Shai to sit on his throne. So here it is. The apostles are going into King David, going into the throne of David. And Christians don't go into these things, man. Okay, so as, as the apostle Peter is breaking these things down, he's going into the history leading up to the point they was at now. That's why we go into the history and you have to go into the history and come to where we at now when you go into the Bible. Stephen, he went into the history and, and brought it to present time. Okay, so I want to go here. All right. 
Now, after after Peter is going into their history, he's going into their sermon. He's saying, "Look, y'all slayed, the, y'all crucified the Savior." <laughs> you know, he's telling those people that was there at the crucifixion, like, "Look, y'all crucified the Savior." Okay. So when you get to verse thirty-seven, it says, "Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart." And said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Yahweh Shahamasiah for remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord. All right. Our power shall call. So Yahweh, I mean, uh, Apostle Peter is telling them to do what? Repent. What is repentance? Because the Christians say repent, but then they say the law is done away with. Okay? The only way to repent is to repent back to a righteous way. Through your Hawashai. Okay? So if you're saying that there's no law, well, you can't repent. Now, we're not saved by the law. Okay? But we come back to that righteous standard. And, and, and rehearse the righteous acts through faith. Because we have faith that where we fall short, we're covered by Yahushua, man. Okay? And we don't abuse that grace to, to, to you know, to, to just wild out and sin. No. We use that grace to get better in righteousness, man. To become more skillful in righteousness, man. Okay? So now he's pushing repentance. It says, verse 39, for the promise is unto you. And to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our power shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation, our people that didn't believe. Okay? Because there's a there's a two thirds, there's there's a one third, okay, going to the remnant. But when you don't deal with those narratives, the the you the Bible you you're missing <laughs> Christianity is just missing such a major chunk of the Bible, man. Okay, just it's, it's just such a oh boy, you know it leaves you speechless. Like how how can you even talk about the Bible and you don't go into these things, man? But that's the deep sleep we just read about. And it said then they it said then they they gladly received his word were baptized. The same day, and there were added about 3,000 souls. So that's who Yahweh Shai, all right, was asking forgiveness for. All right, those Israelites that will eventually come in, okay, through the preaching of the apostles, man. But they was there at the crucifixion. They was with the crew. They was uh, they was in agreement with the crucifixion of Yahweh Shai. Okay, so that was their forgiveness, man. It wasn't speaking about just just random, randomly forgiveness, man. Okay? Now, we in this society, in this certain situation where we do have to turn the other cheek in certain situations. And, you know, amongst the brotherhood, it's forgiveness, man. But just forgiveness, just randomly? Nah, man, that ain't what they're speaking of, man. Okay? Because when the Bible speaks about Esau, it's plain. Go to Hebrews 12. All right? Hebrews 12 and... Get to the point. All right. This is Hebrew 12 and 16. It said, least there be any fornicator or a profane person in Esau who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. And see, a Christian has no clue what they're dealing with. And they look, they, they look at the so-called white man. They just think of their supervisor that just gave him that, you know, a, a $2 raise. Okay. You know, the the, the, the the manager that came to their, 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 their wedding. You know, that's that's what they think. Okay, they don't understand the, the satanic, okay, pure wicked people that run the earth, man. And that's in complete opposition to righteousness, man. Okay, but the Bible describes this, man. Hebrews 12 and 16 said, make sure that no one is immoral or godless like Esau, this is a godless man that he was created to be that way, who traded his birthright, all right, as the firstborn, so for a single meal. Okay, now let's read this in NLT. Verse 17, it says, You know that afterward, when he wanted his father's blessing, he was rejected. 
Okay, Esau is rejected. It was too late for repentance, even though he begged, all right, with bitter tears. So there's no forgiveness for Esau, man. Okay, there's no forgiveness for this man nowhere in the scriptures. <laughs> all right, when you go to the book of James, you know, it's the book of James chapter 2, verse 13. It says, for he shall have judgment without mercy. All right. They have showed no mercy and mercy rejoices against judgment. OK, so this devil has showed no mercy throughout history. OK, and he's going to receive no mercy, man. He's rejected. There's no repentance for him. OK, so you can't just randomly throw around forgiveness, man. All right. I'm going to get this here, man. The Lord is going to bring big change to the earth and see Christians do not know the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They don't know his intent. They don't, you know, <laughs> they are far, as the scriptures say, they are far, their hearts are far removed from me. Okay? Second Ezra 4 and 28. But as concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee. For evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, all right, and that the, and that evil was sown in the garden. Okay, Christians still don't even understand Genesis, first chapter, second chapter. They don't have a clue of what's going on, man. Okay, and it says, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, which is this current society, the house shy is coming to make war. Whom you even you call Jesus Christ is coming to make war. With this society, man, beginning with the leaders Esau Edom. Okay, it says, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good, man. And that's the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Yahweh. Okay, which will be the kingdom of Israel. All right, when he appoints, all right, his people. All right, beginning with those first fruit, is the joint heirs, man. <laughs> okay <laughs> so you know Christ christians are, are just meant to be forever slaves man and that's why lord just gotta <laughs> you know just hey it, it gotta come to a stopping point okay because hey, our people will only get worse more loss okay you can imagine imagine him with the c hip in him man a neural link you put a neural link in the nigga like this man okay you put a neural link in the nigga this close to the screen. Okay. <laughs> Shalom.